most of the people had already come out to vote. Okay. Okay. Hi, this is Randy Bear once again here with Plaza de Armas and now Cast SA uh, at the Pre-K for SA party here. And I'm here with Councilman Ray Saldana with District 4. So, Councilman Saldana, talk to me about, a little bit about how your feelings are for you today for SA. Well, I, I think with, when you think about the entire team that's been doing everything they can to really overturn every single stone we can with respect to voters, um, I feel pretty confident in the fact that we reached out to every single person we could. I was blocked off a few hours before I got here. Uh, unfortunately, most of the people that I was talking to in my district had already voted, which is exactly what you want to hear. You don't want to be pulling people you know, 40 minutes before the polls close. So when we looked at some of the, the early returns, or sorry, the, the numbers we think are, are positive for us. And if you would have told me after the first day of early voting, I would have been very pessimistic coming into this, but it's been getting uh, progressively, I think, uh, more favorable for free. So you're starting to hear a lot more people try to tell you the letter for the initiative. What areas did you go know, talk to in your district or anywhere else around the city? So I've mostly stayed in my district. I've been doing what I what I tried to do uh, at the same at the same time that I thought about my own campaign of reaching out to my friends. The only people that voted in the district in district four races, I needed to get them out again for this race because those are you know promising votes that are yes votes for free game because they understand that they are in a position where they can really predict and draw out the vote in the city. And it really relies a lot on how we invest in the long term. From the standpoint of the election, you know, it's one of the things we've been seeing with you know, your voter turnout on the north side compared to the south side. Do you think that's going to have an effect on this particular issue? So i got to tell you, that was my pitch. Okay. To my residents, I said, look, for a long history in this city, it's been said that the north side overtakes the south side in the amount of voter tur turnout. So it, it's great. The, the best way, I think, to get people out to vote is to get them excited. They, they are being outdone by another side of town. Okay. Yes. And so I've really been pitching them to let them know that, look, at the very fact, I need you to pass your vote. If only for the reason that the South Side's numbers need to go up. So outside of looking to make sure that the pre-K program passes, I'm going to look at those numbers to make sure that that's something that happens. It's always been lopsided if you look at the history of Sanitario. So uh, that's something that I've been trying to get my younger voters excited about and my voters who have been coming out of the South Side. Okay. You said you did something else kind of unique and interesting for this initiative a couple of days ago. Y'all had a little race or run? Or... Tell us some more about that. So I, you cannot fault the mayor for not working as hard as he can for this initiative. He's laid his tenure on the line for this. And so uh, two days ago, he ran 5,700 steps with me from, from, uh, from downtown to City Hall, so about three miles, built it out about 5,700 steps uh, to commemorate for every single student who will be served by this program. Wow. So it was a hot run. It was the middle of the day, too. It was about oh, right. So how did that run about? Oh, did, he, did he beat you? Did he win? Or did he oh, I, I gave the old man the, the, the benefit of winning the race. Of no, I, I heard something about it. It was kind of interesting. The mayor called me a young race now. <laughs> well, if that's the case, it might be true, but he, he's, he's the aging old uh, you know, elected official. But he is certainly working for it. His knees may be given out, but his spirit for this race <laughs> is still as high as I think it needs to be. So he's been working hard for this because for, for him, this means a lot for, for himself and for the city that he's working for. So we should be saying something pretty soon about the early vote should be coming in here very shortly. Again, so. Uh, we're hopeful to see what happens. We're hopeful that the early vote always has a way of, of, of wagging the dog, so we uh, hopefully we'll see some pretty positive results. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.